So it seems we have yet another clash of the relentless electric vehicle policies and push and the reality that when these things catch on fire, they are an absolute nightmare to try and handle and extinguish. Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you enjoy these types of video, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and as ever, remember to leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Didn't plan on making a video today. In fact, these are the sunny streets of Modena, Italy. You can see behind me, I'm on holiday. But when this popped up in my inbox, it was just too good to ignore. So let me pull it up here. I haven't even been able to print off my notes. I've got it on another phone. But electric car turned away from hospital car park. And in the image here, you can see basically visitor car park. And right at the bottom, no electric vehicles allowed Wow, okay, right, let's get into this article. So a father who was taking his child to the Alder Hay Hospital in Liverpool says he was turned away from the car park because he was driving an electric vehicle. So Paul Freeman Powell said he was told to park next to the nearby grass because his car could explode. Whoever told him that's maybe seen my vapour cloud explosion videos, who knows. The hospital says it has temporarily banned access to the car park whilst it improves its sprinkler system. But industry figures have challenged the decision, pointing to research that indicates that petrol cars are more likely to catch fire. Mr Freeman Powell told the BBC he attempted to tell the security guard he spoke to that the hospital's policy did not make sense. There's no point to that, he's just the messenger really, isn't he? But he said in the end he complied because he did not want to miss his seven-year-old son's appointment, which he'd waited nearly five years for. Fair enough there. In a statement issued to the BBC, Alder Hay Hospital said following advice from Merseyside Fire and Rescue, it had temporarily restricted the parking of electric vehicles in one of our smaller car parks whilst we upgraded the fire sprinkler system. Electric vehicles are still able to park in the main hospital car park, it continued, pointing out that it also had 14 spaces with EV charging points. Okay, it's a real interesting one. A few points to unpack here. So we've done a deep dive. We've looked at emergency services take on this and they are up against it with electric vehicles. It's a much harder fire to try and combat. They're self-fulfilling. They provide their own oxygen. So choking the fire isn't an option. And in reality, they need to end up letting the fire burn itself out. There's no real way of extinguishing it. They can use massive amounts of water to try and control the burn. But in terms of actually putting it out, yeah, there's no real way to do it. Also, back in Scotland, we've seen the fire recently at the Breakers Yard. I think it was in Co-Winning, wherein it burned for like four or five days and the individual cells from batteries were popping out and landing on residential streets. Again, just because there's no way to combat that fire. So bring us back to a small car park. Honestly, I think the reality is this may well be something that we're going to see more of. If we've got a confined environment, yeah, it makes it all the worse. How are they meant to get in there and extinguish a fire which has started as the result of a damaged EV battery. The one question I asked in a previous video is would you park your own car next to an EV? And many of you answered no. So here's a question to build on that. Do you think that hospital is quite right to not allow EVs to access its car park or are they completely wrong in this one? And genuinely, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I love to read them. We've had a lot of good conversations in the past. Now, if you do agree with it and you think EVs should not be allowed in car parks like this, then what's the alternative? What should we do? Should they have their own individual car park? Should they have a designated section of car park with beefed up sprinkler systems and easy access for fire rescue teams? Genuinely, please do let me know your thoughts below. As ever, thank you so much for watching. Please do hit the subscribe button if you enjoy content like this. Hit the like button and I'll see you for the next one. I'm off for a pint.